Okay, so let's start by downloading uh, Unreal Engine. And once you open um, Unreal Engine, you will be asked to install the uh, the version of it. And in my case, I installed the latest one as of today, which is 4.26. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to select games. Well, all you have to do before, just launch the engine and you'll be presented with that window. So I'm going to select games and I'm going to use third person template just in case if you will need it. I mean, we will try to come up with our own cameras and blueprints and all those kind of stuff. But in case we need some basic functionality, I'm just going to select third person. And as for project settings, I'm gonna have ray tracing disabled, uh, maximum quality, blueprint, uh, desktop console, and I will want my start end content to be there as well. Um, again, just in case if we need some very basic assets that are provided uh, for everyone. I'm just gonna select the path, my project and uh, name, and I'm just gonna create this project. As for the assets, I'm going to use um, Paragon Environment. Again, I'm going to try to start with the grey uh, scene, but maybe we want to dress it up a little bit because um, it's nice to make VFX actually to the uh, to the with some sort of environment. So it kind of mimics the game development um, just a little bit. And also it helps to showcase your um, special effects within the environment. So I'm just going to get um, this Paragon environment. And as for the characters, I'm going to select minions. I mean, feel free to select any Paragon characters. They really cool. Uh, but I think majority of them, they very realistic. And um, I'm just going to pick something that I think it's somewhere in between, between stylized and uh, realistic. So materials of those characters, for example, there, I, they are kind of realistic. But the proportions and the characters itself, I think they're just a little bit stylized. So they sit in between. And I think those will be really cool assets to create uh, VFX that sit somewhere in between, between real realism and uh, stylized art. Um, so I'm going to go with those. You feel free to pick whatever you want. Um, if you would like to spend some money, I highly recommend any character assets by uh, Bitgem. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I've just used them for my personal stuff. And I think the quality of the assets and the animations as well, they're really, really cool. Especially if you would like to focus on uh, stylized stuff. Um, so I, I will be using those, uh, but I will show you how to set up the scene and, and the whole blo blueprint sections with the, with the minions. Okay, so we are in Unreal Engine and once you press play, basically you got this, which is pretty standard for the third person uh, template in Unreal Engine. Okay, so this is not what we want. And so let's create a new level. Uh, let's go with empty so we can create everything from the beginning. I don't want to save. Okay, so let's try to um, drop a box. I'm going to reset the uh, location to 000. zero, zero. I'm going to put 10 into the Z axis. I'm going to try 1000 here and 1000 on X. And if I press play, I can't see anything. Okay. So let's try to add now maybe a directional light and a player start as well. Let's try to zero player start. And as for the directional light, maybe let's just um, lift it so we can see it. So still nothing. So I need to lift player start. And now we've got this. Okay, so um, let's 
try maybe work on um, our own player um, blueprint. So um, let's maybe try to modify. This is like a temporary uh, ground, but let's just try to work with it. Ten thousand and two thousand, basically. So it's wide. Um, should be okay for now. Okay, so I've got my folder here. As you can see, I got nothing in those uh, folders. So I'm gonna create a game mode base. And it's just gonna be empty. So I need to go to the world settings and uh, game mode override and I'm gonna plug this in okay and what it does it allows me to modify all those uh, settings uh, and I'm gonna save the scene as well and I'm gonna call it combat ranged projectiles cool okay so now maybe let's try to create a blueprint class and I'm gonna create a character and basically this will be our character and I want to drag it as well into the default pawn class in the, into the world settings as well so now when I press play, I should have like empty character and nothing in there. Okay, so now we can just go in there and modify it. So what I want to do, I want to add skeletal mesh. And I'm going to use um, one of the minion characters from Paragon. So I'm going to type Siege. And maybe I will use this one. Yeah, why not? It looks pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to use this one and for animation mode I'm going to use animation asset because we're not going to be playing with the animation blueprint on anything like that. I mean, I don't want this to be very technical. I just want this to be just very simple to set up when you press a button you're gonna fire projectile with your vfx stuff in the best way to just showcase your um, special effects okay okay so we've got this character um, i'm gonna create a camera as well camera and i'm gonna drag it into the capsule component to be um, the root and now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to drag this into the scene. And as you can see, we've got this little window um, here, which uh, previews our camera. And now you can modify the camera in the blueprint while seeing how it's going to actually look like in the level. Okay, I'm going to change the uh, the snapping because I don't want it to snap. So currently when I'm rotating the camera it snaps. This is not what I want and I'm also going to change the uh, coordinate system to be uh, world rather than local. I'll select the camera again. And now what I'm trying to create is just very basic camera view. Um, something like this just to showcase you know my character firing at the other character all right so now let's press play uh, but let's get rid of the one that we dragged into the scene save it and as you can see we um, we can see our character uh, with the camera we just have done okay so let me open the blueprint again. So 
So now we got camera, we got skeletal mesh, but it's not moving. So let's try to add some uh, idle animation to it. So let's navigate to Paragon Minions, Characters, Minions, Down Minion, because this character is from the uh, from this folder. And let's try to navigate to Animations and let's go to Siege, because it's one of the Siege characters. And I'm gonna select Idle, which is here. And I'm gonna drag it into this slot. So now when I press play, the character should animate with the idle animation. And it's looping, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got basic setup and maybe now let's try to uh, make this character a fire projectile and then go back to our idle state. So I'm gonna right click, press Z. I'm gonna select this. So basically, what is it? It's just the input. So whenever you press Z on the keyboard, um, the following uh, nodes gonna happen. Okay. So we got Z. Um, now let's say play animation. But instead of mesh, we're gonna drag our skeletal mesh here, plug it into the target. And in this lot, let's try to find our... Um, hold on a second. Okay, so in this lot, let's try to plug in our Fire C. So I looked through all of those and I kind of like Fire C the most, so I'm just going to use Fire C, but feel free to use any any of those. And the only problem I notice is that once I open any of those animation, something weird happens, and I think it's because of the skeleton, but for now, just don't worry about it because we're going to fix it later. Okay, so um, let's just add this and see if it works. So I press Z, and as you can see, it fires. If you see any issues with the animation, just make sure you are in the correct folder. And all we have to do is set up a additive settings to be local space and skeleton reference pose, because sometimes you will have this option selected instead. Uh, just to make just make sure it's skeleton reference pose and then it's just going to work um, on your uh, skeleton or on this model, the, the Siege model, okay? Um, so now maybe let's um, I see the length of this animation. So it's um, I'm hover, hovering over the Fire C animation. As you can see, the sec sequence length is 2.8. So that's 2.8 seconds. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the delay of 2.8 seconds and I'm gonna play I'm gonna play another animation just making sure it's uh, our target is skeletal mesh and I'm gonna play um, the idle after the delay okay so I'm gonna drag it into the slot and now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna press Z. Uh, the character is gonna fire and then it's gonna go back to the idle state. And there you go, there is a slight stall in between those states. So um, maybe try to reduce the duration to, I don't know, point, let's try point three maybe. Okay, so as you can see, there is a little snap with his wrist, but to be honest, it, it doesn't bother me because, I mean, I'll be focusing on uh, my VFX and uh, I'm not going to be focused on the uh, animation or the model itself. I just want this to look representable 
and you know just I, I just want my VFX to be tied to the animation obviously people will judge you by your VFX skills rather than how the model looks or how the model animates the model and animation is only there to support your uh, VFX in this case I mean it's always better to have a model animation rather than working with the capsules because uh, it just mimics the uh, game development a little bit more Uh, okay, so I'm going to select this to be looping as well. I'm going to press that again just to test it. Okay, so the animation works and it goes back to the um, idle after the, uh, the, um, the firing animation, which is what we want. Okay, so in the next part we will um, set up the uh, that our target um, blueprint, and we will work on our projectiles as well. <laughs> 